All right, guys, what's up, what's up? So I'm gonna give you three things about savings accounts. Again, welcome to the channel. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, tell somebody about the channel. And if you wanna learn how to start your own middleman business, be in the live training, put middleman in the comments. I'm gonna teach you how to be the middleman and not do any of the work. Simply find customers, book them, take deposits, that's where you get paid, and then dispatch the work to someone else. Whether you're in the moving industry, cleaning industry, carpet cleaning, house cleaning, commercial cleaning, lawnscape, pressure washing, AC and heating, it does not matter. You don't have to do any of the work. You simply find customers who need the work done, get the customer's information, get a deposit from them, and then dispatch them to one of the other companies that do the work that you partner with. I call it middleman and CEO. I'm gonna teach you how to be the CEO of your own business from your phone. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, welcome to the channel. Put middleman in the comments if you want to be in that free live training. <clears throat> so today, three things about savings accounts that hurt me and kept me in a really bad position for a very long time. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna talk about this because, when I again, when I tell you guys don't save money, I, what I mean is don't focus on saving money. So every little dollar you get, you cannot just be like, I gotta put into savings. You gotta understand, number one, that money is a tool, and if you do not use it, it is useless. Money is only useful when it is used. Right, and that's gonna be one of the things I'm gonna talk about. So, uh, don't focus on saving money. It's okay to have a little small savings account. I'll, I'll, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So, all right, in, in no particular order, but, <clears throat> or in no particular order of importance, except they're all important, I'm just gonna give you uh, give you three of my biggest reasons that savings accounts crush me, I hate them, and <laughs> I have one, don't get me wrong, uh, but I'm not a fan of savings accounts. They will get you in trouble financially, and uh, I, I know you guys are thinking about emergencies and rainy days. First of all, don't manifest that. Uh, secondly, you can fund those things in different ways. You don't need a savings account to fund an emergency. You can use a credit card, you can borrow money, you can get a loan, you can sell something. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Uh, so don't think I have to save up ten, twenty thousand dollars in it for an emergency. When was the last time you had a ten thousand dollar emergency? I'll wait. <clears throat> well, Sean, because I can hear you, I can read your mind. Sean, uh, well, what if I lose my job, man? I, I got no money coming in. That's why you need to start a business now. So you can have money coming in. See, solve that. So, all right. Three things that were killing me. Three reasons I hate savings account. Three reasons that savings accounts that will destroy your life. All right, number one, savings accounts pay no interest. That is a zero, Z-E-R-O. They pay 0% interest means what? means that back in the day, the banks used to pay something called interest, which means that they would actually pay you to leave your money in the bank. Now they no longer pay you to leave your money in the bank. And I think the big reason is uh, that the banks don't need your money because the government has something called a fractional reserve rate, which allows them to multiply money out of thin air. Uh, you put a thousand in, they can loan 9,000 if I'm not mistaken off that, it's ridiculous. That's why it's called the fractional reserve mate. rate means that the government, I don't know what's going on with those birds, uh, which means that the government uh, has to, this, I gotta say this, this just came to my mind. When I was a kid, I grew up in a neighborhood so bad, this is a God honest truth. I saw a bird drown another bird. I'll never forget this. He drowned another bird. These are like blackbirds. And it held the other bird's head underwater and freaking drowned it. I'm not making this up. Somebody else has probably seen that before me. But I'm telling you, that's how bad my neighborhood was. The birds were violent. Anyway, whew, let me get back. <laughs> Focus, brother. All right, so uh, so no interest savings account. I feel like whenever a uh, direct deposit came in, the banks realized they don't have to pay your mom or your grandparents to bring uh, their paychecks because they used to get physical checks. How many remember that? And so you could cash those checks anywhere, but the banks decided, hey, we have to pay them, we have to bribe them. So there was the interest rate. And now direct deposit came in, the banks were like, wait a minute, the, the, the checks just show up here? We don't have to bribe them anymore, or right, zero. Let's see what they say, nobody said anything, they kept it at zero. So now the banks pay zero interest to use your money to get rich. I always say this, the banks tell you to save money and the banks don't save money. If the banks save money the way you do, the banks will be out of business. So what does that make you? 
out of business. That's right. All right, number two, you miss a lot of opportunities because you focus on saving money in the bank. You could be using that money to change your life. You could be using that money to start a middleman business. You could be using that money to bake cookies out of your kitchen. You could be using that money to start a t-shirt screening business. You could be using that money for whatever in the world you can be using it for, but you're not. So because it's sitting in a bank account and you're missing opportunities to change your life. I always say there's two ways you can do it. I had a conversation the other day with somebody and I said, look, if there was, if you had $100,000 in the bank today, and I do, uh, I said, what, what good does it do for you? And, and even though I'm asking him this question, this is a question I asked myself. What good does it do for you? And he said, he thought about it. And he said, and I thought he was like, <clears throat> come back and be like, we were going to go back and forth taking shots. And he was like, I give him credit. He was like, really? And he's in his 60s. He was like, really? Nothing. Exactly. Money's only useful when it's used. Money is useless when it's not used. That's why the banks use it because if they don't it's useless right like they say use it or lose it and in this case is true because inflation taxes and a bunch of other things work against your dollar even Bitcoin and gold they all fight your dollar uh, even illegal immigration that attacks your dollar where do you think the government's gonna pay back these loans that you think when the government borrows money or prints money it's they don't have to pay it back no that comes from the Fed balance sheet they owe that. The government owes the Fed. So the government has to pay the Fed back. Well, how do they do that? You ever heard of taxes? I just read something this morning where Biden was looking at raising taxes again. Thank God he'll be out of office. Uh, but he wants to take capital gains from like 20% to like almost 50%. That means if you sell your house, you make you make $150,000, $250,000, you owe one twenty five dollars to the government. Ouch. Make you not even want to sell, huh? I wouldn't have, I would not have sold my house if that's how it went, you know, uh, but again, missed opportunities because the money's in the bank. By the way, hit the thumbs up or drop a question or comment if you're getting any value from this. That's the only way I know. Uh, missed opportunities because you have opportunities to come by to invest or to try different things, but because you're so heavily focused or, or so saving centric that you don't put that money into anything because you've been trained so well to save everything. And so you don't use the money for anything, not realizing that your money uh, should be making you more money. That's why I always say, guys, you never hear the rich talk about saving money. You never hear the rich talk about savings accounts or, or, or anything like that. You only hear them talking about using money to make money. So don't save money, use money, okay? And the last one is, let's see, dead money. That's a big one. Uh, your money sitting in a bank account is dead money. It does nothing for you, nothing at all. The money is dead, 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 right? Uh, and the reason I say that is because I always tell you that the banks are graveyards for money. So your money is dead. It makes you no money at all, absolutely zero dollars. So you're in a, you're in a dead bank account. Your money is dead, it's in a bank account, it does nothing for you. The banks are using it to get wealthy, you're using it to stay poor. Uh, the reason I say that is because you don't understand that money is only useful when it's used. You don't understand that money is a tool that should be exchanged for some type of value. So you leave your money there. Sure, you have 10 grand in the bank, but you do nothing with it, you may as well have zero. See, the money's dead, it does nothing for you. It's buried, you may as well bury it. Right, so, uh, Rich people take money to the markets and poor middle class people take money to the banks, right? So when your relative passes away, you take them to the cemetery to bury them. For your money to pass away, you take it to the bank, which is the financial cemetery and bury it. And that's the game. That's why I don't like savings accounts. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. If you wanna be in the live training, uh, if you want to get access to that free live training, it's invite only. So make sure you put middleman in the comments under any of the videos. And let me teach you how to start a business from your phone and change your life. I haven't worked since 2020 and I don't want to work. I do whatever I want to do with my day. I don't make a million dollars a year. I keep telling you, you don't have to. You just have to make enough to cover your bills and give yourself a comfortable living. And for instance, if your bills are 3000 a month and you make 5000 a month, you make enough to pay your bills as long as your business is running 
you're free, you don't have to go to work, you got all day, your friends have to go to work nine to five, you can do whatever you wanna do from, the, from nine to five and the rest of the day. That's free life, that's living, that's what life is about. Life's about time more than it's about money. You don't have to be a millionaire to be free, I'm telling you. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, see you in the next video, guys, peace.